Tonight, nearly 1.2 million people across our five biggest counties are now fully vaccinated against the coronavirus, but the virus is not gone. The fight does continue, and unfortunately, some families are still losing that battle. The virus is blamed for more than 6,600 deaths across the entire Houston area, Dominique. Yes, Chris, and one of the latest victims is a mother of three. She had been fighting this virus for more than a month, but despite the medical treatments and the prayers, Heather Williams passed away at the age of 42. Our Roseanne Aragon live in the Med Center tonight with a look at the countless lives she touched in just that short amount of time. Roseanne? This teacher had such an impact on her students, and of course she loved her own kids very, very much. But tonight we talk with her best friend of 26 years. Happy. She had that smile that just lit up the room, and I will never forget that. 42-year-old Heather Williams was a beloved wife, mother of three, and also Lori Eads' best friend. They were teachers. Not often do you get to teach across the hall with your best friend. Williams left her mark even as a virtual teacher on just about everybody. She was everything. Um, she was a mom to my kids. Um, she was a mom to all of her students, all of her friends' kids. But in February. It's one of those things that you don't think could ever happen to you. Williams, despite being healthy and taking all precautions, got sick with coronavirus. She progressively got worse. Challenge after challenge, mounting medical bills, and on top of everything, the family was having to move out of the home they were renting because the homeowner was selling it. Eid set up a GoFundMe page and posted updates. Now we just want to bless the family as much as we can and, and take some stress and burden off of them. Williams passed away March 24th. Loved ones were devastated. We got each, each other through a lot of hard times. But Williams' legacy, she says, lives through her lessons, those she taught with or without words. She was just an amazing friend, someone that can't be replaced. And I spoke with William's husband, who is understandably heartbroken. Eid says she wants to continue to help bless the family through this difficult time. Reporting live tonight from the Med Center, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC 2 News.